We have a six truck lineup here today in Ionia, Michigan. As these fans get their foods and head towards their seats, we await for six of the biggest names in monster truck history to fire up their engines and compete in three competitions to prove their worth and to see who the best monster truck is. Now, we only ask one question for you at home. Who's ready to see the biggest and baddest monster trucks in the industry? My name is Drop Silver Zero, and today we have a massive six truck fun run here in Ionia, Michigan. And these six trucks are looking to pick up a big win in at least one of our three competitions. Of course, those competitions being wheelies, racing, and freestyle. However, we will be starting off our night with some intense wheelie action. But before we get right into it, let's take a look at our field of trucks. <laughs> We have a star-studded lineup here for our fun run today as we have Dylan Pereira, who is a long-term veteran with 11 years of competition under his belt. He will be piloting the Vendetta. Up next, we have a rookie coming onto the scene with Hydro. He hasn't been in competition for too long, however, he is very good at what he does behind the wheel. He will be driving the Saigon Shaker. Right after him, we have another rookie with Drew Darrow. He's only been in competition for about a year. However, he's always shown up and he has always proven his worth just like Hydro. He will be behind the wheel of the Stinger Unleashed. Next, we have another veteran in the name of John Zimmerman. He will be driving the Jester. He's always a blast to watch and a very solid driver, but right after him, we have one of the most well-known names in the community. This man has been driving for just as long as Dylan Pereira with 11 years under his belt. Tim the Toolman Taylor, as they call him. Tim Clapper, behind the wheel of Rage. And finally, there is myself behind the wheel of the Avenger. Now that we have our field of trucks, let's get ready for our wheelies competition. And here we are, ladies and gentlemen, getting ready for our wheelies competition, the Vendetta! Coming out onto the track, the Redline Oil Vendetta, this beautiful sponsor truck. Of course, this truck is being driven by Dylan Pereira, a long season veteran, and there we go. Nicely done in front of the camera. Just dragging that truck out. Very nice. Getting the distance going further than the bus. Very beautiful. And he's going to bring it back around for his second hit. What's he got in mind? Making sure that truck is lined up. Ready for action. Big Sky Wheelie as he drags it across the tailgate. Oh my, those sway bars. Let's take a look at that nicely done from Dylan Pereira. Dylan's very happy about that, I bet. And he's going to sling it into some celebratory donuts for these fans here in Ionia. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Let's take a look at these replays now, ladies and gentlemen. Firstly, a very solid wheelie. Not even a slap wheelie, but rather a wheelie just dragging that truck out. And this was a very beautiful hit from Dylan Pereira as well. Bending the sway bars as he just rides that truck all the way down. I bet you very happy. And the judges, wow, the judges going a little bit low on this one. Dylan Pereira with only an 18. I'm sure that's going to sit very well with the fans here. But Saigon Shaker coming out next with a nice guy wheelie. Hydro driving the, sh uh, the Saigon Shaker, excuse me. But look at that. That was a first solid hit in front of the camera. And another solid sky wheelie hitting hard on the brakes. Hydro. Oh, Hydro up on two. He's up on two wheels. He's up on two wheels. He's going to save it. No. Wait a minute. Nicely done from Hydro. But yes, let's take a look at these replays, folks. Beautiful Sky Wheelie from the Saigon Shaker. 
a little bit of a slap wheelie as well. And another very nice guy wheelie. Hit hard on the brakes. And Hydro is going to take the lead. As he does the save. Nicely done. New leader is Hydro behind the wheel of the Saigon Shaker. But up next we have Drew behind the wheel of the Stinger Unleashed. Nice guy wheelie. Riding it out just for a little bit. Not too long, but still very nice. Let's see what he's going to do for a second hit here. Rides it out a bit. Oh, man. He's hitting the bush. Hit the fence. They're just checking for damages. They've already eyed the truck. They're more than likely going to let him refire to get off on the track. Yes, they will. Let him go back and park. Oh, up on two wheels. Oh, I bet you he's not too pleased with that run. He doesn't know if that's going to take the lead from Hydro. But let's take a look at this. Nonetheless, a very solid run from the Stinger Unleashed. Drew coming out here. Throwing down two very nice guy wheelies. Dragging it out a little bit on that second one. It's going to be a score of a 17. Not enough to take the lead. He's going to sit in last right now. But Jester's coming out here. Of course, John Zimmerman looking to take the lead here. Let's see what he's got. Nicely done, riding it out. Oh, up on one wheel. Oh, no! On his lid goes the Jester. The Jesterlade, if you will. Jeskalade, excuse me. But very nice. He's going to go on his lid in a blaze of glory. I don't think that'll be enough to take the lead. But it was still a solid hit. Nonetheless, he's going to get a 7 for his efforts. But still not enough. Jester is now going to be the truck to sit in last. Unbelievable roll. And here we have our second to final truck for the evening. The Rage being driven by Tim Clapper. Here we go. Tim not really getting the most vertical on that hit. And a little bit of a slap wheelie. A very solid hit from Tim behind the wheel of Rage. Of course, this being one of the team's green chassis, it's a very heavy chassis. So it's a bit harder to get a slap wheelie. But look at that! <laughs> Nicely done. Riding it out goes Rage. Tim Clapper, very nice run. Will it be enough to give him the lead? I'm not sure. Looks like he attempted a slap wheelie, not really getting all of what he wanted, but he did get some of it. And this was the hit right here. Very nice hit from the Rage. Scores a 19. Not enough for the lead, but he's going to sit in second very comfortably. But now we have our final truck of the evening, the Avenger. Coming out, lining up for his first hit. Not the most vertical, but carrying it up. He's going to get a nice slap wheelie. Rides it across the tailgate. Very nice. The Avenger turning around through the bus. Coming back. What's he got in mind here? Going to hit the second set of crush cars. And very nice. Those sway bars are bent for sure, folks. And oh, wait a minute. Nicely done from the Avenger gonna take the truck put it back in the pits very happy i'm sure he's gotta be with that run let's take another look at this beautiful first hit here he's just riding it dragging it all the way down and this hit right here for sure was nice and the score is a 24 blasting into the lead goes the avenger very nice and after an intense wheelie competition, we finally have a result in as the Avenger picks up his first win of the night with a 24, Saigon Shaker with a 20 in second place, Rage with a 19 in third, Vendetta with an 18 in fourth, Stinger Unleashed with a 17 in fifth, and Jester with a 7 in last place. We now move on to our racing competition with some intense round one action as the Rage takes on Saigon Shaker and Avenger takes on Jester. Vendetta and Stinger Unleashed get an automatic bid into round number two for being the fastest two qualifiers of the night. And here we are with our first round of racing for the evening. The Saigon Shaker being driven by Hydro's already pulled up to the line. 
Rage, is who is being driven by Tim, is also getting ready to pull up to the line. Both of these drivers seem to be ready. Our head tech officials down there on the track making sure both drivers are ready. And we have Green. Both of these guys are on top of their game. Beautiful corner from Hydro right there into the first turn. But Tim with a slight lead. Going into our second corner. Tim with a nice corner giving the win entirely to Rage. And whoa, Hydro! Watch out! On his lid! And brings it back down onto all four of those tires. Unbelievable race from both drivers. But here we have our second race of the evening. Hydro has been taken off of the track. We have the Avenger versus Jester. Our, our wheelies winner and our last place holder for wheelies. Beautiful corner from both drivers. Jester maybe with a slight lead. Jester heading into the final turn. But Avenger up on two tires. Oh my. Jester going to pick up the win. But Avenger. Unbelievable. And just like that, we advance into round number two with the Vendetta taking on Rage and the Jester taking on Stinger Unleashed to continue our intense night of racing action. And here we are with our semi-finals of racing. Tim Clapper behind the wheel of Rage versus Dylan Pereira, our fastest qualifier. Of course, he's driving the Vendetta. Both drivers off the line, dead even. Very nice. Tim taking a bit of a tighter corner. Vendetta going out a bit wide. Vendetta's going to have to play catch up now. And Tim. Tim clips a car. Oh my. Oh. That was a close race. I can't call that. That's too close. Having to slow down the footage. Freezing it up. It's Vendetta who is going to pick up the win. Moving on to our finals. But of course, Vendetta is going to have to face either Stinger Unleashed or Jester. Both drivers off the line just going straight off. And the Jester really holding his own here. Stinger Unleashed number two in the race and our qualifying seed. But Jester is going to win. Now, we move on to our finals for one last race of the evening. As you see Vendetta pull up to the line to take on Jester, who is also pulling up to the line for our racing championship. And here we are for our finals of the evening. Both drivers just off of the line. John Zimmerman behind the wheel of the Jester versus Dylan Pereira behind the wheel of the Vendetta. Both of these drivers going at it. Nice corner from Vendetta. But it's going to be all John Zimmerman behind the wheel of the Jester. Don't get into some celebratory donuts. And just like that, the Jester has picked up a big racing win here in Ionia, Michigan. Now, we move on to our freestyle competition where we take our six trucks and they go all out for 1 minute and 30 seconds of non-stop, high intense, car crushing action. As you see, we have a lot of big obstacles laid out for these fans here in Ionia. So, let's move on to our lineup of trucks for our freestyle competition. First, we have the Vendetta. Next, we have Saigon Shaker. Third, we have Stinger Unleashed. After that, we have our racing winner, the Jester. And after Jester, we have Rage. And finally, to cap things off, we have our Wheelies competition winner, the Avenger. Now... Let's move down to the track to begin our freestyle competition. And here we are for our freestyle competition. Of course, the competition most everybody was waiting for, including myself. Very excited to see how this one goes. And we're going to start off with Dylan Pereira behind the wheel of the Vendetta. Dylan, of course, being a long-term veteran, and <laughs> oh my, air like that shows you exactly what I mean. 11 years behind the industry, and Dylan is going to throw down for all of these fans here in Ionia. And Dylan getting some more nice air off of that bus, and some solid air off of the semi-trailer. And beautiful slap wheelie combination into the bus. Look at that. Very nice run from Dylan Pereira. Going straight through that boat. And oh, wait a minute. 
Unfortunately, there was some debris that caught up into the truck. They're going to have to RII him and shut him down early. Not the way you want to go out, but a solid run nonetheless. Unfortunately, however, that's only going to be an 18 for Dylan. Not really what you want to get out of this run. And here we go. Up next, we have Hydro. As you've seen earlier from both wheelies and racing, he has flipped that truck. So the body has been torn off, but he is still behind the wheel. The Saigon Shaker in nice air. Wow. I was not expecting that level of air, but very unbelievable. Very big. Hydro really going all out for us here in Ionia and getting some nice air going straight through that boat and some more massive air. Nicely done. You know, an 18 is not a bad score. Six is all across the board from our judges. Hydro going out into no man's territory, but he's going to bring us back with some solid air. Nicely done and getting a slap wheelie out of that. Very nice. Hydro's really laying down a run, another slap wheelie once again, and going over the boat this time. Some huge air from the Saigon Shaker, and a beautiful combination as he enters into his final 30 seconds. If you take a look at your bottom right hand corner down there in the screen, we do have a timer going to to make sure we know and all of you know how much time is left on the clock. He has 15 seconds left. Throwing down a nice run. This has everything to beat Dylan Pereira's 18. And whipping it into some donuts as the clock expires. He's going to take the truck and he's going to get one more big hit. That is time right there. This is just for you the fans. Nice! Beautiful slap wheelie whipping the truck once again. Down goes Hydro on his lid. Let's take a look at these replays here. Some massive air from Hydro. And once again going through the boat. Very nice. And he's going to get a 23 blowing into the lead by 5 points. Whipping it into some donuts for all of you fans. Very solid run from Hydro. I'm not sure what's going to need to be done to beat that. Realistically, Hydro may have just clinched the win and he's only the second truck out. But let's not doubt Drew here. Behind the wheel of the Stinger Unleashed. Some nice air. Drew only in this type of competition for a year now. And he's really been throwing down, showing every driver what he's got. Gonna come back, get some more nice air, beautifully done. And going over the racing lane, you know, it's not often we get to see a driver just hit the racing lane, get some nice little air, but that was some nice big air. Oh man, Drew is definitely coming out here to throw down. He might, and I mean just might, beat Hydro. Some beautiful air once again from the Stinger Unleashed. And getting a nice slap wheelie over the school bus. He's going to come back. He's going to get some more nice air. Beautifully done. Up on two wheels. Getting a nice nose stoppy. And oh my. Going nose first. Oh wait a minute. Up on two wheels. Will he save it? No on his lid. 22 seconds left on the clock. Not what you want to do in that situation. But let's look at these replays. Very nice air over the bus. And of course the hit that ended the run. Up on two wheels. He's only going to get a 19. So he is going to beat Dylan Pereira. But not by much. Only by one point. And here we have our racing winner. John Zimmerman behind the wheel of Jester and look at the air. Wow, a hard hit, hard bounce, but a nice, very nice amount of hair. I'm at a loss for words here. He's going to go straight through the boat. And wow, gaining some distance. 
not necessarily height, but some distance. You don't need height to get a nice amount of air. You need a good amount of distance. And Jester, John Zimmerman showing you why. Getting a nice flap wheelie. And he's going to ride that truck all the way down. Somehow those sway bars have not been bent, folks. But he's going to come back for some massive air. Look at this. Beautiful combination getting into a very dangerous situation here That truck landing right in front of our cameras Now the jester is gonna enter into his final 30 seconds Gaining some nice air off of the back side of the semi trailer Hard bounce up into a no stop be getting a moonwalk Look at this, he's gonna have to bring the truck down. He doesn't hit anything but getting close. And just like Hydro, he's gonna whip it into some donuts to end off the run here. A very nice run from Jester. And that's time, and he's gonna go on his lid. Oh my! What a run from John Zimmerman Jr. Getting some nice air to start us off here as we go into the replays. And some more solid air into that beautiful, beautiful slap wheelie. Riding that truck out. And let's take a look at this here. The one hit that caused him to go onto his lead. He has a 23. He's going to tie for the lead. Not enough to necessarily beat Hydro, but enough to also gain him the first place spot to share with Hydro. That might just be good enough for him, but we have Tim Clapper behind the wheel of the rage. Man, if there's anyone who wants to come out here to defeat a 23, it's Tim. And he's going to get some massive air right in front of the camera. Oh my, slinging that truck into the fifth dimension. And here we go, some nice, a nice hit over the bus there. And oh, he's going to go in reverse. Very nice. And into some reverse donuts. Yes. Beautifully done from the rage. Nice air into a nice little slap wheelie. And a beautiful combination. You know, the rage, of course, being on one of these team screen chassis. Oh, watch out. A nicely done, a nice cartwheel into a bit of a moonwalk on one tire. But yes, as I was saying, these rage, uh, this rage being on a team screen chassis, excuse me, uh, is going to be one of the heaviest trucks out there. So the fact that Tim can go out here, just drive this thing, whip it around into his final 30 seconds, and drive it like it's nothing means everything. And oh no! He hit the wall, and there he goes, down through the wall protection. Unbelievable. Left about 16 seconds on the clock. But let's take a look at this run here through these replays. Very nice air into a beautiful combination. And of course, Tim just coming back some more massive air from the rage. And this is the hit that really just ended the run for him. And the score is going to be a 21. He was on the way to take the lead, but not enough. Sitting comfortably in second place goes Rage. And here we are for our final run of the evening after an intense run by Rage. Listen, if that wasn't enough to take the lead, I don't know what will be. A very solid run from Rage. And the Avenger... Getting a little caught there on the wall protection. However, he's able to back it off. He's going to lay down a run. I know the Avenger is going to want to come out here. Get a 23. And he's going to want to pick up the win. He's going to want to get more than a 23. And he's going to start us off by going through the boat. Very nicely done. Into a nice little slap wheelie here. Getting some solid air. Just look at this thing. It's a beauty. The Avenger turning around. What's he going to go for? The bus, it looks like. Yes. Some nice air for the Avenger. Into a slap wheelie. 
very nice getting a little caught up on the card is not what you want to do but he's gonna whip it into some donuts of course if there's anything that this avenger truck is known for it's those donuts and that was a very nice donut right there getting some nice air over the boat just like hydro from before who may i remind you is sitting in first place with jester and he's gonna get some massive air over the bus nicely done and a beautiful combination the avenger is gonna come out into his final 30 seconds he goes he's gonna need to do something big over the bus right there into a nice slap wheelie combination a slap wheelie over the bus onto two tires nicely done avenger starting to get onto the ragged edge Gonna get some nice air once again as he goes into his final 8 seconds of the run. Beautiful combination. Will this be enough to pick up the win? Slap wheelie into the bus. That is time right there. The Avenger turning around. He's just gonna, from the looks of it, park it on the bus. For you fans, a very solid run from Avenger. Let's take a look at some of these highlights. Beautiful slap wheelie off of the bus right there. And getting, of course, a little caught up in the cars. Whipping it into some very, very nice donuts from the Avenger. This was a great run. Will it be enough? And what will not be? Wow! One point shy from taking the lead. A 22 from the Avenger. Unbelievable. And just like that, our night of freestyle competition finally comes to an end as we have our results. Our winners for the night are Saigon Shaker and Jester as they tie with the 23. In second place is the Avenger with the 22. In third is Rage with the 21. Fourth place is Stinger Unleashed with the 19. And in dead last is the Vendetta with an 18. Thank you for joining us in this video. If you like what you see, make sure you go ahead and leave a like. And if you really like what you see, make sure you go ahead and subscribe as a lot more of this type of content is coming your way. And while you're at it, hit the bell too. It'll greatly help out the channel. And thank you to all of our drivers. They will be listed down in the description below. And thank you to everyone who is watching at home. I will see all of you in the next video. Peace!